Hello everybody, in this lesson, we're gonna be taking a look at branching and merging. Now in the last lesson, I already created a new branch. I'm gonna just kind of walk through because this may be the first one you're watching. I'm gonna walk through how to create that new branch and we'll walk through a little bit about how it works and how to merge it back into this master branch. So what we've done is we were here on this master branch and we just said, get checkout. And we checked out a previous version, a previous commit using this hash right here and we named it branch for work. So now we're on this separate branch. We just, we're on our master and we made this branch upward and now we are right here. So just for demonstration purposes, let's go back to our git checkout master. So we're actually going back to the master branch. We have created this branch for work. And so if we wanna to get to that, we can go and go back to this branch or we can create a whole new branch. Either one is perfectly fine. I'm gonna show you how to create another branch and then go back to this branch for work in just a second. So let's create this other branch, just a brand new branch. So to create a new branch from our master branch, it's gonna be really easy. We're gonna say git checkout dash B, and then we name it. We'll just call it new branch. And then we're taking that from master. So our current work. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And now we're on this new branch. Now this is with our current files. But what we were doing with our branch for work is we opened up a previous commit instead of our master. So instead of master, we opened up using this hash right here. So let's actually switch over back to that previous branch that we created called branch for work. So to switch back, it's really easy. We again say git checkout, and then we'll say branch for work. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And now we're on our branch. Now this previous branch does not have all of our commits. So this file was not in that previous commit that we're looking at, that second commit. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some files and then we're going to see how we can merge this back into our master branch. So let's go right over here. Let's go on up. We only have this first file. So we're gonna make some changes. We're gonna say, uh, this is a change to our code. And I'm gonna print out I love merging and branching. Nobody actually says that, but we're gonna say it. And I'm gonna save that. And then we'll also add a file. If you watched our previous lesson on Visual Studio Code, this is means it was modified. So we're gonna add a new file now. And we're gonna call this one branchedfile.txt. So it's just a text file. So I'm just gonna say, this is a text file for the new branch. And that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna save this. So I did control S. And so now we've made a modification to a previous file and we've added a new branched file.txt, completely separate. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back and this is our current file path. So we have that branched file. And then we also have a modification to the first file. Here's what we need to do to merge this back into our master branch because now we've added this new file we've made some changes to code this looks great but we need to get it back to our master branch so that other people can see it we can put it into github we can share that with our team so here's what we're going to do we're going to go back to our master branch we're going to say git check out master so now we're in our master branch and if we say ls you'll notice that that file is there but if we do git status you'll see that we have a modified and we have this file right here. So we haven't committed or made these changes yet. All we need to do is we can say git merge branch for work. So it looks like when we switch back to this master branch, it already made the merge. In fact, let's check this. We'll say git log. As you can see right here, we have our first commit, we have our second commit. And then for a third commit, we have head to master, but then we also have this new branch. And so it merged it back to the main branch when we went and checked it out, but it still hasn't committed and saved this to the GitHub repo. So we still need to git add, actually let's do uh, git status first. So we still need to say git add dot, and then it's going to add everything. And then we need to say git status again, just to check it. And now the modified and the new file are there. And now we need to commit this. So we're gonna say git commit, dash M and here's our message. We're gonna say committing files after merge. 
And so now these files were added and they were updated and modified in the main branch. So all that work that we were doing in this other branch is now in our master branch. And if we come back here, it should have that updated and it will note that we have added these files and made those changes. So that's how we create these other branches. And then we bring them back and put them in our main branch. Now it's really important once we do have this master branch, or even if we have these other branches, is that we put this to where other people can see it. That's in our GitHub. So in the next lesson, we're gonna connect our Git with our GitHub. So that's our local repository with our remote repository so that we can sync these up and use them in parallel. I hope that this lesson was helpful. If it was, be sure to like and subscribe below, and I'll see you in the next video.